Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. So, sometimes when I do these introductions for the uh, items, I have, there's plenty of times, actually, where I could be a bit sarcastic, I could be a little bit uh, exaggerative, you know, I'll have fun with it. When I say what I'm about to say, I'm being dead serious here, and I don't know if it's just me, because sometimes there are those situations where it's like, I might just be interpreting something one way, but that's not really how the public at large may see it. I'm not sure if it's one of those situations or not, but we'll just run over this. And uh, personally, I'm curious what you think, if you have the same impression of this that I do. So Taco Bell has just released a new item, and there's been a lot of talk about Taco Bell lately, about how they're making some uh, changes to their menu and how they're going to be adding a lot of new items for 2024. And this is one of those items. So they have just released the Cheesy Chicken Crispinata. It's available at the price of $3.50, and it is essentially a fried outer shell, and then inside the fried shell is a mixture of shredded chicken, a three-cheese blend, and then it comes with ranch sauce on the side that it can be dipped in. So, it's a pretty basic item. I think it's pretty straightforward, if you ask me. Price again, $3.50. You don't have to do this, but it's up to you. If you want to take a moment right now to just take a look at the Taco Bell website, or an ad, or if you just, you sort of have an understanding of what this item already looks like, just imagine it, or just go look at it, and see how it's portrayed online. I was genuinely shocked, as far as the disparity is concerned, between how I imagined this item being versus what I actually got. Now, I am saying that in a negative light. The item itself can be totally fine, and if it's good, it's good. But as far as I suppose the expectations versus reality, I was, uh, I was genuinely shocked to the point when I actually got this item, I looked in the bag and for a moment, I was convinced I got the wrong item. Because if you look at the way this is portrayed in the ad, and even for the price, $3.50, because sometimes we know Taco Bell could actually have some pretty good deals, I was expecting this to be of a decent size. I was expecting something that might be the equivalent of maybe a, uh, a taco-sized thing. I was expecting it to be probably about maybe this this uh, long, and having sufficient, you know, width and breadth, and was going to be a full meal. So, I'm expecting that. I look at the pictures, that's what it portrays, and I'm thinking, this might be a real good deal, this might be, uh, this might really be something. And then I, I get it. Comes with the sauce, as you can see. I look in the bag and I see this, I think, wait a minute, so did, did, did I get the wrong thing? You know, did I get someone else's order by mistake? I'm looking at this, I think, there is no possible way that it could actually be this small. I look in, I think, no, they must have gave me like some sort of fried dessert or something by accident. But no, this is actually it. It's, um, very small. Compared to, again, how I imagined it being, uh, you could see again on the size of the plate, I was expecting it to be like this big, and it's, it's appetizer size. It's tiny, really, for, for what it is. Now, maybe it's a bit old-fashioned to expect, you know, a larger portion, but I don't know. I just saw the marketing, and I thought it was going to be way bigger than it actually happened to be, because this is very small. It's uh, not quite bite-sized, but, you know, it's, it's, it's small. That's all I could really say. The 
add, I'm just giving you a heads up, will make it look like it's probably three to five times bigger than this. They're gonna make it seem like this is an entire meal when it's just an appetizer, essentially. Now, nonetheless, if it's good, then it's good. And yeah, I'll still talk about the size difference, but if it tastes really good, you know, it, it is what it is. It'll still be regarded as a good item. But it was just a big surprise to me. I was, I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. Nonetheless, now you could see that's the maw right there. Like a cave, like a cave system right there. But you can definitely see the sort of greasy, you know, crispy exterior. And inside again, the chicken, the shredded chicken, and the three cheese blend. And then right here is the elixir, AKA ranch. But in this part of the country, we all call it elixir. And you know what it looks like. And it's at the price again of $3.50. So all I can really say is if you went into this expecting something bigger, as I did, and again, maybe I'm just out of touch, I don't know, what do you think? You're gonna be let down immediately, but if it tastes really good, maybe they could get a little bit of a, could forget about all that, so we'll see. You know what's in it, I know what's in it, we all know what's in it, so let's see how good it is. It might be small, but is it real good? Hey, it might be, let's try it out. The cheesy chicken crispinata from Taco Bell, it's going in. I wanted to make sure I had enough time to give a proper and, and formal assessment of this, and when I try it out with the ranch, I'll leave that eating segment in for the heck of it. So, let me get the focus adjusted. There we go. Took a few bites of it, and first and foremost, I want to show you the cross-section, because I think very importantly, you can't really see what the interior looks like when you're just sort of holding it up. So, this is what it looks like on the inside, right there. And um, I might take a quick thumbnail shot just in case. Thumbnails are an important thing, but you could sort of see the still very crispy uh, exterior, obviously very, very firm. The interior sort of looks like this orange, you know, mush, for lack of a better word. And... Some will probably find that appearance more appealing than others. But as far as how it appears versus how it tastes, I'll say this. You have to understand going into this that this is an item from Taco Bell that they call a crispinata. It's the $3 item. You're not going to be getting a gourmet meal out of this. You have to just go in with that expectation. You have to know what you're going to be getting out of this, going in, essentially. So the quality of this is by no means the highest in the world, uh, really far from it. But is it something that I would consider to be acceptable? I would say so. This is one of those items, and there are plenty like it, but this is one of those items where when I go into it and I'm taking bite after bite, I'm thinking, all right, does it taste all right? Is it something that is satisfactory? Even if it's to, you know, let's say a lower extent, is it something that's like acceptable? It's like, yeah, I could eat this. Yeah, it doesn't taste horrible or anything. I would say so. Is it one of those items though that blows me away and makes me think, wow, you know, this might be a little small, but this is really good. And, uh, I, I'm, they really, really redeemed themselves with this. I can't wait to get it again. Not one of those items. Now, maybe the, the ranch will change everything. I, I'm somehow doubtful of that, though, but you never know. There's not a lot to it, so I'll keep this brief. 
you have to just understand that going into this, the quality of all of the ingredients is far from top of the line. And I think that pretty much says everything you need to say, need to really say about this. I take the bite, you're going to notice immediately a very, very strong divergence as far as the texture of everything is concerned, wherein the shell is oily. It's not very flavorful. It's like one of those where it's just like a sort of fried dough that's just saturated in oil. And that's the first thing. It just mostly holds everything together, and it provides, again, oiliness to it, but mostly a very noticeable crunch and crisp, and almost a sort of hardness to it. Uh, not to the point where, you know, my, my measly little teeth shattered or anything, because they thankfully didn't, but to the point where you're really going to notice that, and it's going to be crunchy and um, very firm. But then on the inside, you have the blend of the cheese, the three cheese blend, and the shredded chicken, and that, on the other hand, is extremely, extremely soft, to the point where... It's not quite a liquid, but it's really not... I wouldn't really describe that as solid, you know, sort of mushy is the, the best word for it. It's not even, you know, cheesy to the point where the cheese has that sort of elasticity to it. And, uh, you know, you bite and then there's the whole string of cheese or anything like that. That doesn't happen. Uh, you bite into it and it's really just sort of like a, a sort of semi-liquid state that it's in. Now, it does taste cheesy, don't get me wrong. Uh, if anything, the cheese blend is more analogous, not quite to the nacho cheese, but it reminds me more of a cheese sauce, I would say, as opposed to an actual formal three cheese blend. Now, I didn't see them make this, so I'm not sure what's really in that, but based on what it tastes like, even if it actually is a real true three cheese blend, the consistency of it, Reminds me again more of a cheese sauce that was inserted into it. And the pulled chicken, it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's, you know, low quality as far as, uh, as far as I see it. It's not all that flavorful. You know, you could taste it a little bit, but there's nothing about the pulled chicken that makes me really think, this is delicious, and, you know, it's just packed with flavor. It's sort of just like physical matter to give the cheese sauce blend, something to essentially cling to, and that's about it. You know, you really can't taste the chicken all too much, and uh, it's cheesy, and you could taste the oily nature, again, of that shell and the hardness of it, but the chicken just isn't all that flavorful, if you ask me. It's definitely more cheesy than it is uh, flavorful chicken-wise. So, if you want to get this, and... You're hoping for, like, a giant meal that's going to be, I don't know, something revolutionary. You're going to be let down. If you're looking for a, a cheap, you know, $3, fairly cheap, small little appetizer size thing that it is actually pretty easy to eat. It's not, despite the consistency on the inside, it's not terribly messy. It's something that you could probably eat on the go with uh, relative ease. You know, it holds together. Then that might be something for you. But it definitely is not something that for most would constitute a full meal. And that might disappoint you because the advertisement paints a very different picture of how this really is. You'll get this, you'll think that it's the size of like a big sort of calzone sort of thing. And instead it's tiny. Just 200 calories in it, appetizer size, and the quality. Quality is acceptable, don't get me wrong, but... Um, not something that really motivates me to go get it again. It's like, I don't hate the thing. You have to understand that. I don't hate it. Am I let down because I thought it was going to be different than it really was? Yes. Do I wish the quality could have been higher? Yes. But at the end of the day, is it something that I think, okay, I, you know, I could eat this. Yeah. Am I necessarily going to really enjoy this? Probably not. But... Is it acceptable? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's see, finally, the ranch sauce. Does it make any difference? Let's see.
the ranch sauce definitely helps. Make sure when you get this that you get it with the ranch sauce included. Now, it comes with the ranch sauce. You don't have to pay any extra for it, but just make sure that it is there. When you get it, look in the bag, verify that you see this because this is one of those items that the quality is fairly low, but the ranch sauce really helps, particularly that sort of sharpness and a little hint of spice, actually, that's in this particular ranch blend uh, really, really does help here. And it's able to cut through the oiliness of the shell and just otherwise just the overwhelming cheesiness and you can't really taste much else, at least this provides it with a nice sharpness and a little hint of spice as well that definitely helps give it a little bit more flavor. Does it necessarily completely salvage this and make this all of a sudden something excellent? No, it doesn't, but it is better with the ranch sauce than without. So this is one of those items I would say, when you get it, understand it's not gonna be the best thing in the world. It's a novelty maybe to try out here and there but uh, make sure you get it with that ranch sauce and heavily utilize it too. It's one of those items where you need the sauce, probably just use the ranch sauce in every single bite because it will make it uh, quite a bit better. So the ranch sauce is a must, but otherwise you could still taste that sort of stringiness of the chicken, which just, I don't know, it's just not, I taste it and it's like, yeah, this is low quality chicken. I mean, what could you do? Uh, it's just a tad disappointing in that regard. So, final note, 350, it's a novelty. Wish it were bigger, wish it were slightly higher quality, but is it barely acceptable? Yes. And does the ranch sauce help it? Most definitely. So factoring all this in, out of 10, therefore, I'm going to give the cheesy chicken crispinata from Taco Bell, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Could most definitely be better, but could it be worse? Absolutely and get that ranch sauce with it because it needs it and it will help. It will make it more enjoyable. And I just understand that, you know, as far as the size of this goes, it really what it reminds me of is like, if you ever go to Epcot, to the food and wine festival, and uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you'll know exactly how it is. You could go and get like a tiny little rib for like $8. And it's like, what is this? You know, cause you think in your mind that the quality of it and the size and the portion is so much more than what you're actually getting, you know, especially for the price. And I just cannot emphasize that point enough that it's so, it's, it's just much smaller than I think that, that it's, it's led, you're led to believe that it is. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's the final point. Most importantly, bear that in mind, but it's a snack, an appetizer, a novelty, maybe get it once and then see how you feel after it. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm your host, the report of the week.